Welcome. All right, so what I want to do is show you um, how to label a point line and plane given a figure. So in this case, we have a triangular prism, which is kind of like a triangle um, sitting on its base, kind of like sitting on a plane over here. And what I want to do is label all the points, lines, and planes that are present in this figure. Now, the points is pretty obvious. You can just see that you know all these capital letters those are going to be all of our points. And you can see a point is where these lines you know, come together. So my points are going to be A, B, C, D, E, and F. However, the lines, um, there's going to be quite a bit. And you can see there's some line segments that we have you know, um, on each one of these. And so the lines, to be able to label these, I can say line AB. I could have line BE. And since we're not showing them extending indefinitely, I'm just going to write them as a segment, BE. Um, I can have, so I did AB to BE. I could say EF to FD to DA. So that was kind of like the perimeter all the way around. Um, but you could see also in the back way, I also have DE. And then now. I went all the way here. Now I have these two, and then this one. So I have line AC, line BC, as well as line CF. All right, and again, the order that I use, since these are line segments, it doesn't really matter, or line segments, or even if I extended them, it doesn't matter the order. But all of these straight arrows are going to be all of your lines. Now, the planes, if you think of this triangle prism, think of the planes as like the sides. Right? They don't just contain a point. They don't just contain a line, but they contain infinite many points and infinite many lines. So think of them as like the sides. And I'm just going to use three points to represent my planes. So I could say A, B, C, which would represent the plane that would be like the top side. I could use the plane D, E, F, which would be the plane that would kind of represent like the bottom side. I could represent the back, which would be A, B, D. Right? So A, B, D, or I could use A, B, E. You could label it any other multiple ways you want to, but we only need three points. Uh, that would kind of be like the back side. I could label the side, which would be like B, B, C, B, E, which would be like this right side. And then I can label also the left side, which would be like F, D, A. Okay, so just a, just a reminder when we're labeling our points, again, those are going to be the locations of where those lines come together. Our lines are going to be what's connecting our two points and make sure that we represent them at, you know, represent them correctly. They're not extending indefinitely, so they're line segments, so I'm going to draw lines over them. And then the planes are going to be, you know, pretty much like the sides of the figure that we just used for three points to represent. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you label a point line in a plane. Thanks.